So who the hell would have thought that Sega would go full on EA with five different pre-order versions of Sonic Origins? Now this is a uh, it's a blatant cash grab for a start. I've got it up here next to me. I've, obviously I'll put it on the screen. You've probably already seen it. It's floating about. I wanted to make a quick little video just saying... <sighs> obviously everyone can do what they want. You're all free people. However, personally, I'd suggest do not buy this. Uh, especially not brand new, uh, not full price. This is apparently going to be about 40, 45 quid here in the UK for four Sonic games that's already out there, apart from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, excuse me, there was a Sonic 3 uh, licensing issue because Michael Jackson helped out with a song on Sonic 3 soundtrack, so Sonic the Hedgehog 3 hasn't been able to be on compilations since his death. Um, I think that's the case. Um, and there's no Sonic and Knuckles on this. It's just Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and um, Sonic CD. Which, don't get me wrong, all awesome games. But again, it's all awesome games we already have. You know, we already have them. I have the Nintendo Online subscription. I have Sonic 2 on that. Um, I have the, Se the, the Sega Mega Drive collection on PC, and I have it on that. I have the Sega Mega Drive collection on Switch. I have it on that. I, you know, they're already there. Cheaper. Um, just because this collection has a few extra bits in it, like um, a mirror mode, fine, hard missions, okay, uh, and then they're making you pay extra for <laughs> for camera controls over the menu islands, uh, the main menu islands, uh, character animations during music islands, um, more additional music from Mega Drive and Genesis titles, letterbox background, and apparently in-game currency. Good job. Good job, Sega. That's good stuff. Um, this is very sad to see, especially as um, this year seems to be going quite well for gaming. We've got a release date now for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We've got a release date for Splatoon 3. I'm excited for both. Uh, we've got Monster Hunter Rise uh, Sunbreak coming out. And we have uh, the Hogwarts game, I think looks amazing personally. Yes, Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed, but that's fine. I'm sure it's going to be amazing when it's released. Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land was amazing. Um, the Lego Star Wars game was amazing. So it's been pretty good. And um, we're having all these different new collections coming out, like in June or July, I think. We're having the Klonoa 1 and 2 coming out, which I'm looking forward to that one. Um, as if you want to try and buy them physically in the UK especially, you're spending a lot of cheddar. Um, <clears throat> but this Sonic Origins is dreadful and is an exact example of what the hell is wrong with gaming today. They are trying to squeeze every bit of life out of, the, uh, out of us, the consumers, the players. They don't care. Uh, I know this is done by the same team that done Sonic Mania, but if you ask me, if you haven't got Sonic Mania yet, buy Sonic Mania over this. Sonic Mania, even the basic game, uh, which was a new Sonic game with some with some remix levels, but also some uh, new levels, but also had extra modes. Yes, it had a little bit of DLC, but the base game itself came with a cool out outer sleeve, which was holographic. It came with a manual, came rever with, with a reversible cover and all other manner of goodies. And then you've got this bullcrap, which is trying to fleece the crap out of you. And apparently this is just digital. I don't think this is coming out physically. I don't think. I think this is just digital. And that's bullcrap. Um... I mean, I, I, I suppose it may possibly come out physically, but from what I just saw, it was just digital. Now, if that's the case, hell no. Hell to the no. Um, this is just, like I said, this is exactly what is wrong with gaming. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I thought this kind of crap, you know, was done with. Um, I'm very particular about what games I pre-order. Um, Especially since Cyberpunk's release, I, I don't really trust anyone anymore. Um, like, I'm not going to pre-order uh, Monster Hunter Sunbreak until I've seen reviews from other people. Because although I do have a YouTube channel, yes, and I, I, um, you know, I, I make reviews and I play games and etc. I don't get free copies of games. I am just like you know everyone else. I spend my money on games, and I don't have a lot of money to spend. You know, I get what I can get, especially cheap. Like, I know obviously I've got Switch games here, but that a lot of them are budget titles and games that I've either been given or games I've got in dirt cheap, so it's either presents or, you know, I, I'm not loaded and rolling in the dough. Um, I wish I was, and one day hopefully maybe I, I may well be, but at the minute, no. But this Sonic Origins is just dreadful, absolutely dreadful. But please let me know in the comments what you think, um, especially the fact that this year we're getting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Kawabunga collection, which has 14 full titles on it. 
and no bullcrap. Just 14 full titles. Yes, there's a special edition of it coming out, which is 150 quid. <laughs> no, no thanks. Uh, that's, a bit, that's a bit too much for me. Um, but I'm all up in that. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Kawabunga Collection and Shredder's Revenge are two of my hyped, most hyped games for the year. And I cannot wait for them to come out. And especially as the one is uh, a collection of old games that I've already played. But the uh, TMNT on the um, NES, the one with the uh, dam level, where you got to um, defuse the bombs under the dam, that's my jam. I had that game as a kid back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, whenever it was, and I absolutely loved that game. Loved it to death. Played it all the time. But uh, anyway, I could carry on waffling about nerdy stuff all day long, but please let me know in the comments what you think about this Sonic Origins crap, and please, I urge you, just my own opinion and just my advice to anybody, please don't buy this. Don't support this crap. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna, if you want to buy it, buy it one day on sale. Just wait. Just be patient. The fear of missing out crap, trust me, I don't get every single game that's released. I get them eventually, maybe. Like, I really want to play Dying Light 2, but I'm not paying full price for it because I've heard it's a bit meh. Um, but I will get around to it eventually. Do I feel like I've missed out? No, I don't. Um, there's plenty of games out there. There are plenty of free games out there that are really awesome. Um, but, yeah, just... There are many different ways you can play Sonic uh, that are much better than this. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll leave you with that. But thank you very much. I'll catch you on the next one.